Uh, the Star Trek Beyond trailer. Jesus fucking Christ. The third in the new trilogy. This was supposed to be really attached to Star Wars. And you know what? You can If, if that's the case, you can tell it was cut that way because this is not cut like a Star Trek trailer at all. J.J. Uh, Abrams directed the first two. Right. Justin Lin directed this one. He's a guy that did basically help revive the Fast and the Furious franchise. And oh, you can tell by watching this. Yes, you can. At least from the trailer. Uh, because... I love the Beastie Boys. You love the Beastie Boys. Sabotage is a great song. Rest in peace, M- MCA. Uh, Sabotage is the song trailer, but this is cut like a straight up action movie. Which okay, a lot of the Star Trek movies are mostly most of Star Trek movies were action movies, especially yeah. from Next Generation on. They sort of said, "Oh, this slower sci-fi morality and ethics conversation. We don't need that. We'll just have a shoot the Borg for an hour and a half." That's fine, but let's try to keep some of your. Let's try to keep some of it in Star Trek. From this trailer, it's just people jumping around, spin kicks. You have a female alien that looks like a ripoff of Gamora. They figured, oh, Gamora was big in Guardians of the Galaxy. We'll do our version and give her white skin. And we'll have her dress the same way in leather and do spin kicks. That's what I'm getting from this trailer. People hanging from cliffs. People hanging from cliffs and jumping and a motorcycle. <laughs> a, a motorcycle. Kirk, I guess, got that replicator and got, <laughs> got in the replicator and got a, got a, 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 an off a, off road motorcycle or moped or something. Is doing jumps and it comes out in July. It it looks terrible from this teaser. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. And I like the first two Star Trek movies, uh-huh. uh, but. I always say this, Star Trek is much better on TV, because not saying Star Trek can't have action. Star, oh. Good Star Trek has action, but it also has, again, it has those sort of questions. Should we be doing this? Is this ethical? The morality that comes up with sci-fi, it's not just straight action. And this one's like, should we be... <laughs> 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 Can you do that effect again? <laughs> Shiver it. Vroom, 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 vroom. There you go. That's exactly what a motorcycle does. Uh, and basically in the, tra- <laughs> in the trailer. Vroom. <laughs> in the trailer, they give away that. It's basically a huge away mission. They're on a planet out there <laughs> at the far regions. <laughs> and the, the Enterprise gets destroyed like in the first 20 minutes. Does the Enterprise have to get destroyed in every Star Trek movie? Yeah. That's what I'm going to ask. That's how they built the motorcycle. Are they on like they model parts together? <laughs> with broken up hole pieces? They got some glue. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, the, the Enterprise got destroyed in what two or three of the Next Generation movies? It got destroyed in what two of the original movies? It got destroyed, and now it's got destroyed in all three of the new ones in some large capacity. It got destroyed, or yeah, it got destroyed in the first one, yes. the new ones. It's get destroyed here, and the second one it got fucked up too. You know, it's like you can do Star Trek without this Enterprise getting fucked up <laughs> all the time. Maybe you need a new starship if it's always getting fucked up. Maybe this shouldn't be the flagship always getting its ass kicked. Yeah, yeah, this know, is right. supposed to be the flagship of the entire Federation of, is, of planets. And it's getting fucked up all the time. It's an escape pod. <laughs> but you know what? It's got that off-road motorcycle. <laughs> sure does. I'm glad they packed that on board. 